in the 1930s and 40s, this woman, uh, Georgia Tan, ruthlessly ran a black market baby ring, stealing over 5,000 children, selling them to the highest bidder. My next guest suffered horrible abuse from the moment that Georgia Tan's gang kidnapped them at age five. They were swept into a dark role of torment. They were terrorized. Twin brothers, James and Thomas White, say that Georgia Tan is a wicked woman who ruined their lives. We're glad to have you join us. So you were literally, someone came into the house and stole you both, right? Yes, they did. We were... Five? Five years of age. Uh, we were taking a nap. And my oldest sister, which was at 13 at the time, she had uh, left the house and went down the street to visit uh, uh -huh. our grandmother. And while we were napping, uh, these people came in and took us out of the bed. We were still in bed. Wow. And do you remember what happened then? Where were you taken? Well, I was taken uh, to, uh, to uh, Memphis, Tennessee mm -hmm. at the age of five and, uh, and to the Tennessee children home with Georgie Tan. Uh, we don't know exactly how long we were at the t uh, Tennessee Children Family Home, but we spent a lot of time with Georgie Tan. She would take us places, me and my twin brother. So we have figured out that, that we had lived with Georgie Tan, you know, quite a few times, you know, for a long time. Uh-huh. And then after that, then uh, she had, uh, of course, now we don't have proof that she sold us, you know, uh, that she got money, but then she sold us to a couple out in California, out in Hollywood. And uh, we don't know exactly how long we stayed there, out there in Hollywood. Didn't you all run away when you were seven or something? Yes, we did. We, uh, this was when we was in Hollywood uh, with these uh, very wealthy people. Mm -hmm. uh, Why would two boys want to run away from a wealthy home? We were abused quite a bit. Uh -huh. We were beaten. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say beaten, I mean literally beaten. Uh, back in those days, they, uh, when the ladies did the ironing, the ironing cord would, would screw off. Mm -hmm. And this is what this woman would beat us with. Mm -hmm. Well, she had a problem with drinking. Mm -hmm. Him and her both, you know, drank and partied quite a bit. And they would leave us alone at the house. So one night, we just got tired of it, and we ran off from the home. Mm -hmm. from the house and then a neighbor found us in a swimming pool of course the swimming pool was not you know full of water found us in a swimming pool and we had marks you were hiding out, out in a swimming yeah. pool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the uh <clears throat> she found all the marks on us and so she called the the police then so, you got sent back to georgia tan yes uh -huh. mm -hmm. and that's when the sexual abuse came in at the home mm -hmm. uh i can remember me and my twin brother we haven't talked about it up until about uh, three months ago and then we got it out. We started talking about the sexual abuse. I remember laying on the floor with mm -hmm. blankets. I remember uh, kids with no clothes on. I remember the screaming and the hollering, and I remember them telling us to shut up. Now, these was not uh, young men or young ladies. They was adults. They was grown, grown people that would of touch the sexually us. abusing the children? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They would touch us and hug us and kiss us. And they would put us in the uh, in, in the ways bed. that were not good. That's right. Mm -hmm. They would put us in a in a big bed. I remember me and my twin brother in a big bed, and and people just looking down at us while we was and they had us to hug each other and to kiss each other and well, it, it just goes on and on. That went on for you know quite some time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, were you put in another home? Yes, we was... Uh, Sold again, you think? Well, see, we was in two homes in Memphis, Tennessee. Ronnie, you want to take this? <laughs> <laughs> you need to come in. <laughs> we are... Uh, and did you switch names every time? We've got so many names that... Uh, uh, <laughs> we don't know what to call each other half the time. <laughs> uh, but uh, we were... Uh, we were in the Tennessee Children's Home Society at 1556 Poplar Avenue. And when Georgia Tan had too many children in that home, uh, she would loan the kids out. There was no room for them to sleep. Now, so was this her home? This was her this home? This was, was the from? orphanage home. Yeah. She had a home and a state outside mm -hmm. in the country. 
but she would uh, she put us in the uh, Porter Leith Children Home there in Memphis, where she placed a lot of the children until she could find someone to adopt them. So what we know now is, is it really was a front for an orphanage home, and she was black marketing the babies. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.